please don't forget, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Come on, you irons. So we're here at the London Stadium for West Ham versus Everton after the international break. It'll be interesting to see how we uh, start proceedings. We've normally been fairly iffy starters after international breaks, it's fair to say. Everton did win their last Premier League outing against Newcastle, but their last match was uh, quite a comprehensive defeat against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. I'd imagine that Frank Lampard and his coach have done plenty of work on the the training pitch um, to try and stem the flow. We've got a bit of good news, obviously, that Bowen is starting. Unfortunately, Lanzini doesn't make the starting 11 and neither does Ben Johnson. We'll see how that affects things. But it's, it's a strong 11 that we've put out and really and truly we should have too much for Everton, but you never know, it could be a, it could be a funny game. You're never not quite sure how the teams are going to react to that break. Are they going to react positively or maybe a little bit less so? But I'm confident, not overly confident. I think it will be a bit of a battle. I think it will be a, be a hard, hard slog. Might not be pretty at times, but I'm going for a 2-1 home win for the Cockney boys. Here's hoping. Come on, you Irons.
and also it's a bit Linesman had other ideas. So it's 1 0 at half time, free kick from Aaron Cresswell. Uh, really good free kick. As far as the general pattern of play is concerned, I'd say that we've been the better team, but I wouldn't say we've dominated it. I think that Everton have had their chances. But probably their best chance was to Richarlison, where he got the ball, he took it round Fabianski, and had it not been for a fantastic last bit, each bit of defending by Ryan Fredericks, it, we would have been 1 0 down. Uh, as it was, we would 0 0. Up comes Aaron Cresswell, free kick, puts it past Jordan Pickford. Um, we're 1 0 up, but Everton are still in this. Um, they're not going to lie down and have their tummies tickled. I'm sure they're going to come out in the second half, and I'm going to. They're, they're going to test us. Um, their, their Premier League survival is on the line, it really is. So I think that Frank Lampard will be in the changing rooms right now, giving them the verbal volley, really trying to fire them up and get them coming at us in the second half. So we need to be up to the challenge. Well, I said at half time that Frank Lampard would fire them up, and 54th minute, Everton have equalised. And joining me here, Duke. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, Fabianski was blocked off from the corner, mate. Um, I don't know if it's a free kick, but he, he decides to come and punch and get his hand on it. Doesn't get a great deal, and they go and do what they do. They go and do what they do, I and mean, it's a scrappy goal to concede. Um, I still think we've got more to give. I really do, but it's just a crappy goal to concede, mate. It really is. We've got to step it up in this. Uh, what remains of this second half, haven't we? Oh, mate, the, 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 the stepping up should have come in the first half. To be perfectly honest with you, it, it's not. We, we weren't. We weren't as fluid or as comfortable as I would have liked to have seen us in the first half. But you know what? We've, we've got the capabilities. You know. I think the players out there know what they've got to do. Antonio's looks solid up front. He's been bullied. He's been pushed. He's been shoved. He's won a lot of free kicks. If we can get a few more in and around the edge of the box, if Chris can pull off another one of them, it's magical, mate. But you know what? Listen, we've got, um, we've got plenty of time. There's over a half hour left. And we've looked, for me, we've looked the better side um, with regards to the chances we've had. So let's, let's see where it takes us. All right. Antonio, safe from Jordan Pickford, fell to the feet of Jared Bowen, no mistake, 2-1 West Ham, come on you Irons! 64th, 65th minute, and I think it looks like, I don't know if it's Michael Keane that's been sent off, uh, Everton are down, 10 men, 2-1 up, we got a free kick on the edge of the box, this could be interesting.
<laughs> That's why you're in danger. Because you're fucking shit. Short corners, not a fan, and that's the reason why. Serves you right. Yes! I forever blowing bubbles. West Ham 2, Everton 1. Uh, we're here at the Supporters Club, absolutely heaving, some fans are in good spirits, but what are your thoughts on the match? Um, uh, it's three points, isn't it? I mean, yes. Yeah, that's about all you can it say. Wasn't, it wasn't, we didn't set the world alight, we didn't, um, uh, we, we, we're not going to win any races with that one game, but we've got across the line, we've got three points, and well, well to do, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't pretty but we did the we did the did the scrappy things right, you know. I I tell you what, the one thing that did please me was um was it last kick of the game, Fabianski came out came playing out. listen, as people that watch the channel they know it's one thing that frustrates me about fans that Fabianski doesn't command his box. He came out, he claimed he wasted a few seconds, the referee blows his whistle before before, we, you know, before anything else happens so I take that all day long but I mean you and I were t <laughs> you and I were talking before and weren't we um, Mr Ben Rama and he polarises he polarises I mean he pulled out of what three I, I, I definitely counted two I even said to my daughter that was with me you know he pulled out of two 50-50s and it just it irritates me he's not going to endear himself to any fans you know like you said earlier if he pulls out a 50-15 the next thing he does is set up a goal or scores a goal a different story but he didn't pull out of the challenges whilst we were under the caution I, I can't I, it's not that I can't forgive that but I can't be dealing with that okay, you know. fair. great to see Jared Bowen back on the uh, starting no. team sheet and, and on the score sheet as well didn't you? Yeah. and uh, obviously he didn't last full 90 minutes that was probably too much to ask but he's put himself uh, got a few minutes under his belt ahead of the game on uh, Thursday night against Leon 
come. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I spoke to the guys that were sitting behind us, and bearing in mind, this is only my third game of the season, so I'm, I'm, I feel slightly blessed to be here today. Um, but I did say that, you know, the first 10, 12 games of the season, Antonio Berry's the chance he has, that, that obviously he kind of semi gets the assist for Antonio's goal, uh, for Bowen's goal. Um, it's, it's, it's a save by Pickford. He's hit the target, and it's a save. And I think he had two or three opportunities where he really should have scored. But, I mean, Antonio, first 10 games of the season, buries that chance, and we don't see Bowen get on the score sheet. You know, but, again, on the flip side of that, Bowen coming back, he looks sharp, he looks strong. Um, he looks, he had a bit of fire in his belly, he had a bit of desire, which I liked. It was good to see. Um, and, and he gets his goal, and I, I, like I say, I wasn't expecting the last 90. I was the, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting him the last 60, 70, but he did. In the 70 minutes, I think he came off. I wasn't expecting him to finish that. I was expecting maybe 55, 60 minutes. He's hauled off ready for uh, ready for Thursday night. But you know what? It's a win. Confidence is up. Players are back. You know. Um, roll on Thursday. Right, I mean, I, I'm gutted I can't be here for Thursday. Um, obviously, I'm not season to get older. It's difficult to get to get some games like this. Um, I know you're here, aren't you? Yep. Pastor. <laughs> um, but no, uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be at the pub watching it. And, oh, yeah, this, this, this result gives us a good, com- good confidence, but it certainly puts uh, Everton in the mire, shall we say. And Mr Lampard on his way down, maybe? Well, I know. well that's, uh, that's their problem to deal with. And uh, for, for us, it's uh, just trying to pick up as many points as we can between now and the end of the season to give ourselves the best possible chance of maybe nicking a European spot. And I've got no problem if it's European Conference League. <laughs> I, I absolutely yeah. wouldn't turn our nose up for that. Not so, so, yeah, if we got if we got seventh and uh, got into Europe as a result, if it's Conference League, so be it. But two, two consecutive seasons with top eight finishes, two seasons with European football, back-to-back, mate, that's that's absolutely it's stuff. Cool, it? Yeah, it's, it's the stuff cool. that you, you couldn't have dreamed of two, two years ago when we were fighting relegation. I said it grace when we, when we were standing uh, down by the Heineken bar, actually, um, outside, and I said to her, I'm slightly disappointed because this is probably the most successful period that I've been alive for, as a fan. I know we had the FA Cup in, in, in 80, I was 18 months old, <laughs> you know, so with, with regards to, you know, performances in the league and everything else, this is probably the most successful period that I've I've seen as a, as a fan, and I, I, I want to be here more, obviously my job up until now really dictated that I couldn't, um, I'm certainly going to be sticking myself on the uh, season to keep waiting this for next season, I'll tell you that now, because I love today, and I love bringing her, it's her first game in Oh, Mark five years, testimony. yeah, five years of my local testimony. First game at the new stadium. She's enjoyed herself. She enjoyed the atmosphere. Job done, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to ask you who your man of the match is because obviously we're going to do player ratings tomorrow. <laughs> we're doing so, that tomorrow, yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. <laughs> So, what did you think of the result? What did you think of the result today? What? What? Come back. It was a fucking win. Massive win. Who are, who are you, in case people don't know who you are? Terry. Oh, oh, oh. That was Happy Hamrette, ladies and gentlemen. So there we are, West Ham United 2, Everton 1. As I said in the match preview, I thought that today would probably be a little bit of a slog. Didn't think it would be a pretty game, and so it proved. However, we got our noses over the line. Very, very pleasing to see Jared Bowen on the starting team sheet and obviously getting the goal that decided... The game between the two teams, um, I think there was a, there was a number of players that I think came to the fore. I, I personally think that, that Saeed Ben Rama. I know Duke says that he saw him pull out of a couple of fifty fifty challenges 
I actually thought from from my perspective, I thought he played all right. Uh, I would say that my personal man of the match was Jared Bowen. I think he obviously come back from a from a injury that's put him out for a number of matches, and he's got he he, he was. Uh, I thought he looked bright. I thought that Mikel Antonio looked looked a, a decent. Uh, had, had a decent game as well but I think Jared Bowen obviously him getting the goal that, that divided the teams for me I think he probably deserved man of the match in the stadium it was Craig Dawson pays your money takes your choice in the end of the day despite the fact it wasn't the best game to watch as a spectacle we got our noses over the line subsequently to that somebody that's put a little bit of a crimp in the in the plan if you will is the fact that despite the fact that Newcastle took the lead, Spurs went and took the three points at home to Newcastle, five uh, one. It was it, it is what it is. Listen, there's plenty more games in in the Premier League season. There's plenty more twists and turns, and who knows? And, and, I, and I'll I'll say it as far as I'm concerned. If we finish seventh and Managed to get into, which we have, the quarterfinals and possibly beyond. Who knows? Might get to the semi-final, might get to the final. Might even win it. Who knows? I think that constitutes a fantastic season. I know there will be, be, be people that will make the argument that at some point we were pushing for fourth and that, that had we had a better transfer window in January, that maybe that would have come to fruition. But... In terms of our history, and we've we've never had two seasons on the bounce where we've been top eight of the top flight and had two successive seasons of European football simultaneously. It's never happened. So should that come to pass and we manage to achieve that, I'll absolutely take that all day long. Um, two Two years ago, we, we were just looking at staying in the Premier League. So, compared to where we were two years ago, that is a tremendous uh, amount of progress that we made in that time, in my opinion. Other people might disagree, and that that's absolutely fine. People are entitled to their own opinion. Um, people are entitled to dis- disagree with me. Not a problem. Uh, we move on. But for today, very pleased that we've managed to get our noses over the line and uh, very, always, always very pleasing to beat a former West Ham player that comes back to West Ham as a manager. Obviously, Frank Lampard. Uh, personally, I, I think he's a bit of a pantomime villain. I, I think that a lot of the people that boo him are probably people that weren't even born when what happened between him and the club happened and probably don't know all of the the different factors and all the nuances that, that happened at the time as I do. So it, it's, it's all a little bit of fun and games, to be honest with you. But um, listen, as far as I'm concerned, we're still in the hunt for a European place. So let's, let's keep on pushing. Let's keep on plugging away. And who knows? May well be that come the end of the season, we've possibly achieved back-to-back European qualification finishes in the Premier League. Absolutely massive achievement, as West Ham are massive. Come on, you Irons. <laughs>